Hi guys, okay, so this is going to be the second installment of the Pharmacy School series with Chi Chi Doll 143. As you guys know, I'm in the process of applying into pharmacy schools, or have I gotten in? You may never know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm in the process of applying to pharmacy school, and I felt like these videos would be so helpful for somebody who is trying to go into pharmacy school. Now, if you have not seen part one of this video, please click here or down below. And I'll also make a playlist on my channel, so in case you do get lost or whatever, you'll have them with you. Okay, so now, this is going to be the second video, and this video is just basically going to focus on um, applying into the pharmacy schools. So, now you're at this point where you have completed all the prerequisites, um, you made sure um, you completed it, you've passed it with at least a C or better. Obviously, I'm, I come from a Nigerian home. There's a lot of pressure to get mostly A's and B's, but it makes you a stronger candidate and it makes you um, stand out more. Um, and, and, it, and it shows the pharmacy schools when you do apply that you are a good student and that you'll be able to handle the pharmacy um, curriculum. So this is the second part and this is going to be applying into pharmacy school and I'll be talking about the application process and also the letter recommendations and stuff like that. Okay, so <clears throat> you want what you want to do is when you apply to a pharmacy school after you've done everything for the prerequisites, you want to go ahead and look up different pharmacy schools that you are interested in applying. So for me, what I did was I looked up all the schools across the United States that were the cheapest because obviously I've already been in school. I have a, um, a master's degree already. So for me, I'm thinking of the payments that I'm going to have to do when I go back. So what I do is I looked at all the pharmacy schools that was the cheapest and um, there's actually a website that I'll put down below where you can look and compare prices of all the different pharmacy schools. Now for me, I don't have any obligations. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. So I'm more open to going out of state, you know, going wherever and rather than staying at home. So what I did was I looked up the different pharmacy schools. Then what I did was I made sure that I completed all of the prereqs because I know some schools have like a general thing. Like most schools have the same basics like the, um, the two years of chemistry, the two years of biology, um, the pre-calculus, um, pre the arts and humanities. But depending on what school you go to, they may ask for other stuff. So once you find the school that you want, then you um, look at the prereqs, make sure that you are on track with their own requirements. And then once you figure out um, what you want to do is kind of pick them, put them all together and then kind of see, okay, this is where I want to go. This is where I, I feel like going. So once you do that, then you're going to go into the um, Farmcast website, which is, I'm, I don't want to show it too close, but the Farmcast website looks like this. And um, it's a portal, and it's known as the Pharmacy College Application Service, and it's the big, it's like the big, the big, big application where you put your um, biographic information, your background, your personal data, your parent and guardian information. It has all of your academic history, so that's from um, secondary school, which is high school, all tests that you completed, um, colleges attended, your coursework, um, future enrollment. Plans. I'm just reading it off the list. Um, and additional information like extracurricular activities, work experience, professional license and certification, honors and scholarship, publications. If you did like any research and you got, um, what was it? If you got published for it, then you have the personal essay. Um, then you have to complete the privacy statement, the references, and the program destination. So with the Farmcast, once you completed everything, you want to make sure everything is complete to the best of your abilities. Now, some people may or may not have things in all those areas, but if you can think of things um, or if you have like records of stuff from like your past, then you can put them all in. Um, so once that is completed, what you want to do is... Um, Make sure all of your letter of recommendations are inputted and also your um, academic transcripts. Okay, so the Farmcast, once you put that in it, then you want to choose a letter of recommendation, people that you feel know you the best as a student. And um, once you figure out who those people are, you generally want to try to do um, somebody who's like a pharmacist, um, any of your math or science 
professors or um, somebody that you work with if you worked full-time and you're not in the pharmacy career choosing somebody who knows you um, fairly well and then once that's inputted they'll be given a link they'll type it up or whatever and then send it back into the um, website so once all of that's completed you also want to make sure that your transcripts are in there too because um, what they do is they make you write all of your courses so if you've been in school for like 10 years every single course that you completed from every institution has to be inputted and then all your transcripts once it once they're sent there they use your transcripts to verify everything that you said is true now if you do decide not to say that anybody would it but if you do decide to put that you got an A in the class and you know you got to be okay first of all you're wrong for that because <laughs> they're going to check they're going to check everything before they send it off to the schools so once all that's completed your recommendations are in your um your transcripts are in you completed the entire pharmacy school application remember you chose the pharmacy schools that you want so the more schools you add the more expensive it gets um and then after that you want to make sure that you also complete the essay now the personal essay i don't know if they're going to change it from time to time but i know that for this year they asked like um what is your personal goals or something like that why you want to become a pharmacist so once you write that essay please have it revised before you submit it in there because once you submit and submit it it's done you can't change it so then after everything's been verified everything's been complete that's when everything will get sent to the schools and then once it's sent to the schools the schools will contact you to do the um whatever they have next for you to do so that's pretty much it this is just the um the farmcast application applying into the pharmacy school picking the pharmacy school and just making sure that everything is accurate before you turn it in so that's the second video if you haven't seen part one click here or be in the description box and if you have any other questions you can leave them in the description box not description box in the comments down below if you have any other questions and i'll talk to you in another video bye